I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will graph polar equation by plotting points. The question is graph the equation r equals to 2 cos 2 theta. Now before graphing we should always check the symmetry. Checking symmetry helps us to identify what kind of points should we take to sketch the graph of the given function right. So what we have here is r equals to 2 cosine 2 theta. So let us check the symmetry. Uh, what is the value of r when theta is negative? That is to see we are given f of theta as equals to 2 cos 2 theta. Let us find what is f of minus theta, right? So if I replace theta with minus theta, what do I get? I get this as equal to, so f of minus theta is equal to 2 times cos of, the theta becomes negative means minus 2 theta, right? Now as you know, cos of minus theta is cos theta, cos is an even function, so we could write this as 2 times cos 2 theta and that is what f of theta is. Now since f of minus theta is equals to f of theta. What kind of symmetry will it have? We say that the graph of this is symmetric about polar axis, right? So this is symmetric about polar axis. Okay. Let us also consider other symmetries. That is to say, how about um, pi minus theta? So let's calculate what is f of pi minus theta. So if I replace theta with f of pi minus theta, I get 2 cos 2 times, let me put square brackets now, pi minus theta, right, pi minus theta. Now you'll see that we have converted that into a function notation, right? So what we wrote here, this is a function of theta, r is a function of theta, so we wrote this function as f of theta equals to 2 cos 2 theta, right? So this is for my viewers. They should not get confused all of a sudden how I move from r to f of theta. Now this convention helps us to visualize what we are really trying to do, right? So we are replacing theta with minus theta to check the symmetry about polar axis. And this time we are trying to check symmetry about the vertical axis, y axis, is that okay? So we replace theta with pi minus theta. Now if you open this up, you get 2 cos of 2 theta, 2 pi minus 2 theta, is that okay? Now 2 pi minus 2 theta should be 2 theta since uh, cosine has a period of 2 pi, correct? So we get this as equals to 2 cos 2 theta and that is the same as the function f of theta, right? So that tells us that this function is symmetric about y-axis. So it has both symmetries. Now if a function has both symmetries, it will also have symmetry about the point, right? It will also have symmetry about the point. So what you can do is you can check that out. So, so you can check, which I'm not doing here, uh, which you can check is what is f of uh, pi plus theta equals to, right? So if you do that, you will get this is also equals to f of theta. So it is symmetric about point also. So in short, symmetric about the pole, right? So this point origin. So what you notice here is that the figure is symmetric about the x-axis. So whatever comes on above the x-axis could be mirrored on the other side and symmetric about the y-axis. That means whatever is there on the right side of y-axis can be mirrored and then the graph can be completed. So that means that we have to really find the value of the function between 0 and pi by 2 since this portion can be reflected on the left side and also on the bottom and also across since it has the pole symmetry also. 
So that kind of restricts the number of points or it helps us to choose just few points to sketch a fairly accurate graph, correct? So, so in this case, as you have seen, what we will do is we'll just take few points which will help us sketch the graph uh, of the function, right? So here, theta, what should we take theta as uh, to find the value of r? r is 2 times cos 2 theta. So what you notice is we don't really have to take many points. We should start with 0, of course, and then in this portion, the first quadrant, that is sufficient for us, correct? So the good points in the first quadrant are pi by 6, pi by 4, right, pi by 3, and pi by 2, correct? So these are good points to take, and we can always calculate the value of the function, which is 2 cosine 2 theta for these values, correct? So if I write 0, cos of 0, you know, is 1. So let me write the values for each. So if I write cos 0, so cos of 0 is 1, 2 times 1 will give me the value 2, correct? So I get 2 here. Now we can go for special triangles to get the other values or you could use your calculator, correct? Now cos of pi by 6 times 2, pi by 6 times 2 is pi by 3, right? So we could do uh, 2 times cos of within brackets, 2 times this is pi by 3, right? So we could do uh, pi divided by 3 bracket close equals 2. So we get a value 1, right? So you could do using calculator or you could use uh, special triangles. So pi by 4 times 2 is pi by 2, right? And that is 0, you know. So, so you'll get 0 here. So pi by 3. So let's do pi by 3 is 2 pi by 3 now, right? So we'll have 2 times let's do this value cos within brackets we have 2 pi by 3 right 2 pi divided by 3 bracket close equals 2 so we get negative 1 here so we get negative 1 pi by 2 pi by 2 times 2 is pi correct so that gives you a value of minus 1 minus 1 times 2 is minus 2 so these are the values which you get when you calculate for the given values. Now, let us plot these values on our graph. So we are looking for 0, pi by 6, pi by 4, pi by 3, and pi by 2. Uh, this line which I've drawn here is for pi by 4. So I need to get uh, pi by 2, uh, which is there, and pi by 3 and pi by 6. So, so pi by 3 could be kind of like this. Okay, so let me just sketch this, pi by 3 and pi by 6 will be so what I've done here is uh, drawn these rays for pi by 6 pi by 3 we already have this one for pi by 4 here correct uh, and these are the units 1 and 2 that should help us to plot the points so for theta equals to 0, r is 2. So where is this point? So theta is 0, that means we are not moving counterclockwise. We straight move to the point along the polar axis. And there you have this point, correct? For pi by 6, the point is at 1. So we get a point here at 1. For pi by 4, the point is at the origin. So it quickly comes back to origin from here. Do you see that? Pi by 3 is minus 1. So, so pi by 3 is minus 1. R is minus 1 means we'll go to pi by 3 ray. The value is 1 and reflect it on the other side. So we get a point here. Is that okay? And at pi by 2, it is minus 2. So pi by 2 rays along the y-axis. 2 is there, reflected. So we get a point here. Correct? So joining these points we get our curve. Now this curve should be reflected on the x-axis and also on the y-axis to get the final view, right? So what we'll do here is this is a smooth curve uh, which could be kind of like this. So let me just try to join them. 
okay so this is one half and uh, this kind of let me just do the best I can so this is the kind of graph which we get from the given points now let's look into the symmetry the symmetry is it is symmetric about the x-axis so that really means that this particular graph we could actually connect it reflect it let's reflect this on this axis right so if I reflect it on this axis I get kind of like this do you see that so that is the reflection on the x-axis now this portion I can reflect on the y-axis so I get this half now since it is symmetric about the y-axis the whole thing gets reflected here and it has a point symmetry also so we can now complete this particular uh, figure by reflecting it so this point comes here and then we have uh, kind of like this so it could be sketched like this and then we could join it like this and similarly the portion here can be reflected on the top so what we get here is kind of like this so what you see here is a flower right so so this kind of a function can be graphed and what you get is a flower so this is actually the equation which represents a flower right so at times we may just name it with some particular flower maybe whatever but looks like more of our flower right so that is how we can actually graph the function and I hope in this video you appreciate the use of finding symmetries before plugging in the values right so symmetries help us to restrict the value so that very good graphs can be drawn and you know we have better understanding of what we are trying to do. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.